first question have you said in the past you have said in the past that the best way to purchase land is by gold by hand for the purposes of not using federal reserve notes as a way to accomplish this without having to pay the high premiums of bullion dealers and how important is this aspect okay excellent question so and you know what i'd push this on to a different previous one except you put a twist on it i gotta i gotta address it so it's a good question first um doug what is on the deed is between you and the seller so you can literally write whatever is on the deed you wish so long as the seller is willing to sign it if the seller is not willing to sign it um and it's by gold by hand uh for excuse me for valuable consideration by gold by hand uh for an undisclosed amount uh using meets and bounds recording in the foundation name and then everything is private um and fee simple as the uh recordation vesting type right now everybody's doing federal reserve notes in the name of a corporation or an artificial person uh meaning the birth certificate name uh giving jurisdiction um using joint tenants tenants in common with a legal description not using meets and bounds not using a private unrecorded foundation not re not using um federal reserve notes using gold so the the purpose of me saying this is to answer your question specifically if it were me and i couldn't get the deed the style the way that i wanted it to be which a lot of times when you're purchasing a piece of property and by the way you don't need to purchase a property outright you can actually um bring a lender with you and and get this done where you purchase it from them then you get you get it in whatever style deed that is acceptable to the money behind the loan which is who is the lender and the lender is is the shot call the lender is the owner um you are nothing more than a tenant to the lender until that thing is done um meaning paid off and so if it were me and i had to have a loan and i um was not able to convince somebody to have the type of style of recordation that i would like I'll just get done whatever I could get done on the deed in advance, get the title done because title insurance will not insure a property in an unrecorded uh, foundation name because they want everything to be vested in a record recorded foundation name. Number one, isn't that interesting, right? So um, for you, just, just uh, get the de deal done. And then now you're sitting on it. You're you're the grantor and and the purchasee. You know you're you're both. You're both ends of that transaction. So you you don't need necessarily to do an exchange of physical gold. You can actually do, um, you know, if if you can actually do an exchange on paper and um, meaning take uh that vested value that you would have had um in the in the name of like you the registered organization and just say you know yeah this is the way that i want my deed to to stipulate and this is how i want it to be and it's nobody else's business what happens in the background behind that deed it's nobody's business um as a matter of fact it could be done for a single piece of gold um that is transferred between you the seller and the foundation the buyer for an undisclosed amount of valuable consideration by gold by hand meets and bounds fee simple and uh what happens then you're not disclosing the amount of gold you're not because no matter what um you would have procured vesting you would have done meets and bounds you're buying land you are taking the federal government out of the transaction by removing the element of of uh federal reserve notes and i believe the doctrine on that's called the collective entity doctrine um whereby they are a party to any transaction where, whereby you use those federal reserve notes so that's just the way you can do it by in, in control number one because now you're post getting title cleared um, and getting title insured and getting it insured against the uh, property on the purchase from somebody else free of encumbrances that's basically what it is saying 
And um, anytime title's doing a policy, they're doing what's known as a date down title pool, where everything up to the exact day when they ensure the transaction, they're, they're making sure no, nobody's come down to put a lien on that property and, and, and brought the property into a questionable title. And so they do a date down, they do insurance, they get it done. Now it's in your name. Then you can have a private party transaction between you and your own foundation. Now, anybody that's in the living in the private, here's, here's the big bonus. Anybody that's in the living in the private program, we actually give you a copy of a deed that you can utilize on your own, prepare it. And so the next question you're going to ask is meets and bounds and, and how, to, how, to, how to handle that. There's a lot of different ways to handle that, but um, uh, basically go down go as far back as you can on your own titles and look for a description that is feet, degrees, tree, stone, stumps, you know, things that are describing land, not uh, not a legal description, which is above the land. 